Welcome to Pegasus Games, home of the games you never outgrow, and this is Commander Corner with Tanner. Today I'll be talking about the uh, Keldheim Commander deck, Phantom Premonition. Um, it's uh, headlined by Raynard the Everwatchful. Um, and with this, I kind of want to talk to you about some potential upgrades for the deck, because while I do think it's a very cool commander, there's just so much going on with it that I wanted to try to narrow down like a couple different paths that we could kind of look into for this commander. Um, the biggest one is Foretell. It already says for the first card you foretell each turn costs zero uh, to foretell, which is already strong because every turn foretelling something for zero um, makes everything a lot cheaper. Um, and some cards to keep an eye out for for this is the number one Cosmos Charger. It allows you to foretell at instant speed plus uh, foretell cards cost one less to foretell already but just being able to foretell on everybody's turn um, and then other cards to look out for is doom scar starnheim unleashed all just very powerful foretell cards that aren't already in the deck when you buy it um, the other thing is, is i'm calling contrombo i know it's a weird term but basically a controlling combo um, ask thing that you can do with this because Raynar cares when you exile permanents from the battlefield to make 1-1 one, one spirits. And with those, there's a few combos that you can do, as well as some cards that just exile things incidentally. Um, Archaeomancer returns stuff from your returns instant and sorceries from your graveyard. Peregrine Drake um, adds or allows you to untap five lands. Uh, Naru Meha allows you to copy an instant or sorcery like Ghostly Flicker, which exiles two creatures permanent, exiles two creatures, lands, or artifacts from your great from the battlefield and puts them back in the battlefield right away. So you can loop Naru Meha with Ghostly Flicker as well as any of your other permanents to essentially get infinite enter the battlefield triggers from Naru Meha as well as the other permanent. Um, and then other cards is like Angel of Condemnation, so you can exile permanence until Angel of Condemnation leaves the battlefield. Or cards like Declaration in Stone or Winds of Abandon, which is board wipes, but they're exile-based board wipes instead of destroying. So you'll get incidental 1-1 one -one spirits uh, from those spells. Um, the other thing that I wanted to look at was just the token generation, like he makes 1-1 one, one spirit tokens. The important thing there is that they have flying. So cards to kind of like keep an eye out for it would be like Anointed Procession, which I know is sitting at about $10 to $15 uh, right now, but it makes extra tokens whenever you make a token. And then other cards to look out for is All Runs Epiphany, which does in and of itself give you two tokens plus an extra turn and has foretell. And I believe that card is currently sitting at about the five to ten dollar mark again. Um, so hopefully not too much out of people's price range, but also just such a powerful card that would recommend picking one up before it goes too high in price. Um, and of course, with mentioning cards to put into the deck, some cards that I would probably recommend taking out are cards like Cleansing Nova, where I know it's a board wipe, but it destroys creatures or artifacts and enchantments. Not really synergizing very well with your commander. Um, Iron Verdict, Replicating Ring, Mist Raven, cool cards, but they're not, they don't have as big of an impact as you would like in most Commander games. Um, Evangel of Heliod, Cloud Ghost, Cloud Goat Ranger, and Gold Knight Commander are all token payoffs, but they only care about creatures on the ground, not flying creatures. Which, if you're going to take this in the more token range, I would highly recommend looking at that instead. Um, and with that, that's kind of like the base of stuff that I'd want to talk to you guys about for the uh, Phantom Premonition pre-con kind of like upgrade. Um, if you guys have any more suggestions or even cards you might recommend instead, let me know down in the comments. Happy to hear about it.